Good evening, my name is Elizabeth Tokarski and today I'm going to be talking to you about two major external factors which affected Microsoft in the past four years. My research identified that the current recession has caused Microsoft to eliminate a significant amount of jobs in the past four years, as well as excessive competition in the forms of email, tablet devices, and mobile search engines has caused Microsoft to rethink its competitive strategies. This presentation analyzes the current recession's effects on Microsoft, as well as the competition for the best email service, tablet device, and mobile search engine. In regards to the current recession, Microsoft Corporation is proof that even some of the largest companies in the United States and throughout the world have been affected by the current recession, which began in late 2007, early 2008. In January 2009, Microsoft's shares declined 12% to their lowest level in a decade, while Microsoft experienced a 11% drop in quarterly profit. Microsoft's CEO, Steve Ballmer, described the current economic environment as being the worst recession in two generations. So where does Microsoft get its revenues? Although Microsoft produces everything from video games to internet search, its major sales still come from personal computers or PCs. Much of Microsoft's profit, about 80 to 90 percent, comes from the sales of Windows, operating system, and Office software, both of which fluctuate with the sales of PCs. The wildly popular netbooks, also called laptops, are hurting Windows, Microsoft Windows business because of how much cheaper these netbooks are able to come. Typically, the netbooks come with cheaper Windows XP versus the more expensive Windows Vista. Due to the availability of cheaper netbooks, Microsoft revenues have been declining. On the other hand, much of Microsoft's revenue is derived from its server and tools division as well as its entertainment and devices division. Both divisions have little to do with the PC market and still contribute to why Microsoft remains profitable. So what is Microsoft doing to cut costs? The company is still taking steps to reduce expenses and eliminating 5,000 jobs or 5% of its workforce. It is forced to decrease the cost of its PCs to keep up with the demand of these low cost netbooks. In addition to the current recession, Microsoft is heavily impacted by email, tablet devices, and mobile search competition. In regards to the email rivalry, innovations and designs from Yahoo Mail and Google Gmail are competing with Microsoft Windows Hotmail to become the fastest and sleekest email service. Worldwide, Microsoft Hotmail receives more visitors than Yahoo Mail or Google Gmail. However, in the United States, Yahoo Mail is the number one web-based email service with more visitors than Microsoft and Google combined. Yahoo Mail is redesigning its email service to become faster in overseas markets, look sleeker, and perform better than Gmail or Hotmail. Yahoo Inc. is a, set, is a step ahead of Microsoft because of its partnership with Nokia cell phones to preload certain cell phones with Yahoo Mail as the primary email service. Google has its Android preloaded with Gmail. Microsoft's newest alliance with Verizon is not producing profit as initially planned. In regards to the tablet computer competition, these are thin keyboard free computers with touch screens are recently all the rage thanks to Apple. Microsoft has not created its own version of the iPad but plans to. The focus of Microsoft's version of the iPad is to efficiently run Windows 7 operating system. Running the Windows 7 operating system has not caught on yet because computer makers are struggling to even create an iPad that runs efficiently as, the, as Apple's does. According to an article in the Wall Street Journal, the CEO, Steve Ballmer, is worried that the hardware companies will not use Microsoft's operating systems, but instead will use Google's operating systems in the tablet market. Finally, Microsoft is struggling to gain a step ahead in the mobile search. 
Microsoft and Google remain in steady competition in the mobile search market because consumer computing time is shifting from desktops to mobile phones. According to a survey by Comscore in the Wall Street Journal, only 1.7% of US, U.S. cell phone customers used Microsoft's Bing search engine in July of 2010 as compared to Google's search engine, which 14.4% of cell phone users used in 2010. Verizon Wireless cell phones has a deal with Google to preload many of their hot selling phones with Google's search engine versus Microsoft's search engine. Microsoft is pushing for a similar agreement with Verizon so that many of the new cell phones will come preloaded with Bing by Microsoft. The overall disadvantage is that Microsoft has not produced a cell phone that can compete cell phone smartphone that can compete with Apple's iPhone or Google's Android. Microsoft tried to produce a cell phone that could compete called the Kin, but it failed. The Kin lacked popular applications and normal functions, which was which was terminated after only six months on the market. According to an article in Media, sales of the Kin were less than ten thousand units as compared to the iPhone that sold 1.7 million units in the first three days on the market. I'm sure Google and Apple were thrilled to see Microsoft fail so quickly. So this presentation has analyzed the, the effects of the current recession and excessive competition in the forms of email, tablet devices, and mobile search engines on Microsoft. Microsoft is a large company that was affected by the current recession, which began in 2007-2008 and which resulted in Microsoft's elimination of 5,000 jobs. And finally, Microsoft struggles to stay ahead in the email rivalry, create a competing iPad, and produce a smartphone with Bing search engine that can compete with the Apple iPhone or Android by Google. Thank you.